What's up YouTube, back with another video. And today I'm gonna go over three plays in the Pelicans playbook here in 2K22. All three of these plays are in both current gen and next gen, but I'm gonna be demonstrating them on next gen. Also at the end, I'm gonna briefly talk about a couple other plays that I think could be useful, but I'm not really gonna go over them in detail. So with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is the fist 15 loop. This is a pick and roll play that you can call for anybody that has pick and roll ball handler priority. If you don't know what play priorities are, I'll leave a link to a video in the description that can help. And I'll also go over a lot of things related to offensive play calling in that video as well. And even though this is a pick and roll play, I like using it to get threes on the wing. So I'm going to run it and then go on to replay and talk about it. So right here, I call it for CJ and he starts with the ball at the top. Then the play runs and Ingram, he gets this screen from Valanchunas and then he'll get this screen from Hayes and go out to the wing. And a lot of the times he'll be open for this three. And this is what I run this play for. I run this play to get this three right here. Uh, this option right here is really, really, really consistent. So you'll get a lot of threes using this play over here on this wing, but I just keep the ball, I hold it, and I just let the play run. And the play goes into this pick and roll with uh, Jackson Hayes. Sometimes it'll be Valanchunas. It depends on uh, who's this screener right here. Like this second screener is the going to be the screener in the pick and roll. So right here is Jackson Hayes. And he sets me the screen. I like, I do like this screen, um, this pick and roll spacing as well. Because everybody's around a three-point line and... When, when you come off this screen, you have this whole wing area to work with and you have a lot of space. So take the screen. I am open for this shot right here. You know, you'll get this shot a lot, especially if the defense doesn't hedge out on you. So um, I just wait and Jackson Hayes gets behind the defense. So I'll throw him a lob. So like I said, when I run this play, I'm running it to get this three right here. Like I said, you'll get this three a lot. The only thing about this is that you can only really get it for your point guard or your shooting guard. So if you want to get this shot for uh, somebody at a different position, then you can't really do that. So um, if you want to get it for your shooting guard, you have to uh, call it for your point guard. But if you want it for your point guard, you have to assign it to your shooting guard. So... When I play it online, I would assign this play to Brandon Ingram so that CJ McCollum would be the one coming off these screens because he's the better shooter. He has better badges and everything. So I want Brandon, I want uh, CJ McCollum to be coming off these screens. So I sign it to Brandon Ingram. And then I have CJ coming off uh, these screens. And yeah, it's just greens all day. The next play is give 52 fists. This is a handoff play that you can call for anybody that has handoff priority and it's designed to be a handoff for you to drive and get a layup or a dunk. But I like using it to get lobs. You can also get threes from it, but I mostly use it for the lobs. So right here, I call it for Brendan Ingram. He starts over here on the wing and McCollum has the ball at the top. Then I pass it off to Ingram. Then I give it back to McCollum. Then Ingram will get this screen from Valanchunas. And when he gets this screen, he will like dive to the rim. So if he gets behind the defense, this is easy lobs right here. Or regular passes if you don't want to throw the lob. But but you will get a lot of lob opportunities with this play. And I lob him right here. But um, when, you, when you're up here, you kind of have to wait just like a split second for um whoever this is so right here this is jackson hayes because like he will like flash through but sometimes like if you if you go too fast up here he'll get like he'll get stuck down here so by the time uh ingram is rolling it'll be defense in the paint so um you kind of just want to hold on for a split second to make sure that this guy gets all the way through so that his man is not in your way when he's trying when he's trying to cut so keep that in mind uh when you run this so this is a pretty nice play to get some lobs and like i said you could also get a three out of this too so if that lob is not open you pass the ball over there and then boom he gets that screen and you could get a three the and the play was actually designed for him to um 
come off this screen over here and then you dribble over here you hand the ball off and then you roll but and then i mean not roll but you know try to get to the rim i don't really like that it's not really that consistent plus the handover animations are kind of weird so when i run this play i mostly try to just get this lob right here and if i don't get the lob then i go and you see and you see this is what i was talking about right here like you kind of want to wait for this guy to get through see right here his man is bumping him he gets stuck and by the time ingram is at the rim the defense is there and i really can't get the lob off so um that's the only thing that is kind of iffy about this play is that a lot of times like as he's going through like he'll just get stuck here so um when you run this just always keep that in mind and make sure that this guy gets all the way out before you throw the lob and the last play is punch 25 quick this is a post up low play that you could call for anybody that has post up low priority and even though it's a post up play you could use it to get threes for your point guard or your shooting guard So right here, I call it for Valanchunas, but Ingram gets the shot. So Ingram starts on the baseline. Valanchunas is over here in the post. And Ingram has the ball. I mean, CJ has the ball at the top. Then Ingram, he'll get this screen from Valanchunas, come out to the wing. A lot of times, he'll be open for this three. So uh, if you're open, then take your shot. But right here, I just let the play run. I give it to Valanchunas in the post. And when he has the ball in the post, Ingram will get this screen from Hayes, go out to the top of the key, and he gets open for the three. So this is a good play if you got somebody you could play through in the post, and if you also have really good shooters, you can use this to get them threes as well as, you know, play through somebody in the post. But before you get the ball into the post, you have an option that you can score from. And yeah, this play is really simple, but it's still really effective. And I really only use it to get threes. But like I said, if you have a player that you want to play through in the post, you can use it to get them the ball in the post. Also, kind of like the first play, um, if you want your shooting guard to get the shot, then you will start the play with the point guard having the ball. And if you want the point guard to get the shot, you'll give the ball to the shooting guard and start the play. So I wanted CJ to come off that screen and get the shot. So I would give the ball to Brandon Ingram, then call the play. And so CJ will come off those screens and I could get him open threes. So that's pretty much it for plays, but there are a couple other plays that could be useful. So I like the ISO 507. So it's just an isolation play. So if you're, you know, go with the dribble moves and you want to try to take somebody off the dribble, uh, you can use this. And the reason I like it is because I, when I ISO, I like ISOing on the wings. You get a uh, good spacing. So everybody's around the three point line. So you have a driving lane. And I also like ISOing when this corner, when the corner is empty, just so like I can do because I like doing step backs and fades on the baseline. So I like having this corner open when I'm isoing. So I'll probably hit somebody with like a momentum and then like a behind the back and go baseline, either do a step back in the corner or do a fade over here on the baseline or just go all the way to the rim because you do have good spacing. So if isoing is your thing, then uh, you can give this play a try. Punch five is also another good one. It's pretty simple. It's just a post up play, but uh, everybody is just around a three point line. So if you have a big man that you want to play through, you could just and you just want to give him the ball in the post and have good spacing. You know, you could just use punch five. There's also another play called high five, which is a post up high priority. But it's basically the same concept. It's just that instead of being like down here on a block, it would be more up here, like towards the elbow. And so when I when I play through a post player, I like being up here on the elbow and just having uh shooters around me because i get a lot more space so like i can go baseline i can go middle and i feel like i just have more options when i'm up here than when i'm like down here so that's pretty much it for the video this playbook doesn't really have too much going on but uh there are a few plays that you know are pretty good like i said i, I like the loop play i like to give 52 fists you know you could get some lobs there's not really a lot of plays that get you lobs consistently so that's a pretty good one to get some lobs and punch 25 quick is also pretty nice too so like i said there's not too much really going on in this playbook but the few plays that they have are kind of good so um as always i hope this helped you i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content